What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you guys yet this year, um, at least not in a New Year recorded video. So, um, so far 2021, not a whole lot better. So today I've decided to do the 2021 Plant Plans tag. Scott from Scott Grows an Avocado Tree originally created this plant tag and he did it um, first time last year. So this is the second year that we're doing this tag. Um, and nobody really tagged me. Um, I think someone's going to tag me, but I might beat them to posting this. So I tagged myself. So the first question in this tag is which plant is the one that brought me the most joy in 2020? And um, that's a, a hard call because uh, my plants are basically the only thing that brought me joy in 2020. Well, it's not entirely true, but you know. I had a hard time narrowing this one down to just one because I actually got three of my top wish list plants last year. So it's kind of hard to decide which one of those I was the most excited about or the most excited to see grow. But I guess if I were to base it on the most exciting growth over the last um, several months, it would definitely be my Monstera Albo Borzigiana that I got from Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves. And that one just put out the most beautiful leaf, really close to a half moon leaf. And the one that's coming out now is fenestrated. So that's very exciting. The next question is which plants are at the top of my 2021 wish list? And that is another one that is very difficult for me to narrow down. I do have a wish list video coming out. I'm just working on collecting pictures and making sure that I can use them all and stuff. So that will be coming out as soon as I figure all that out. <laughs> but for now, I will tell you that the one that I will probably be looking to purchase first when I do resume purchasing house plants, because right now I'm not doing that. It's just too cold and I'm working on the garden stuff. But when I do go back to buying them, I'm definitely going to get my hands on a Hoya Callistophylla. I want one of those and I'm going to get one. There's also this coleus called fishnet stocking that I'm, I'm going to need to have this year. I need it. Question number three is something you need to do with your plants in 2021. And for me, it's probably gonna be a similar answer to a lot of people is I have a lot of stuff to repot. So I would say that my uh, binge plant collecting habit started almost three years ago now. So those plants that I picked up that first year are definitely in need of a repotting as well as many of the ones that I picked up in the year before that, before this one. Another thing that I really want to work on is changing some of the potting choices that I've made as in like the vessels because I was really into terracotta and just having everything sort of look the same when I started collecting plants. So a lot of my plants are in terracotta and that's really not the best choice for every single kind of plant, especially in my very dry winter apartment. So I'm definitely going to be rethinking some of the vessels that I have. I'm really happy with my Wally Grow planters. So I think I'm probably going to pick up more of those. Um, I really like the self-watering containers for a lot of plants. So I'm going to start looking into a different solutions for that kind of stuff because I am a very lazy waterer, which is not great for plants that have dainty, fragile little roots. And question number four is what would I like to learn in 2021? And that is a great question to introduce today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community with thousands of classes for curious, creative people like you, like me. Skillshare has classes for everything you can think of, be it cooking, crafting, painting, belly dance, gardening, house plants. And perhaps this comes as no surprise, but the first class that I had to jump into when I got my Skillshare account was Christopher Griffin, AKA Plant Queen. You may know him from Instagram. He has this amazing house plant class. It's called Plant Queens, Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space. And many of us are not buying new house plants right now, so it's great for me to be able to look at the house plants I have with some fresh eyes. Skillshare is a fun, relaxed learning environment, free from ads that will disrupt and distract from your experience. I feel like I'm never going to run out of classes to take because there's new ones being added all the time. 
Personally, I'm a big fan of lifelong learning and especially lifelong learning that is affordable. Skillshare is only $10 a month with an annual subscription. And if you wanted to try it out, there is a link down below in my description box. And the first 1000 of my subscribers that click on that link will get a free trial to Skillshare. So you can see if it fits into your lifestyle. We have no idea what 2021 is going to look like, but for now, I'm just going to spend my time at home learning some new skills, getting into some new passions, and just trying to expand my world a little bit, even if my world still has to be at home for the most part. Huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back into it. So I am really excited to just like spend all of this. I have been doing a lot of learning while I've been trapped in this house for the last year. So I definitely plan to continue that. I spend a lot of time just absorbing information um, and that helps me with the channel. And then just in other areas of life, helps me become a better cook, helps me become a better gardener. And of course, I'm going to be diving into lots of plant information so that I can do more deep dives and information-based videos for you guys, which brings me to question five, and that is what my subscribers can expect from this channel in 2021. And I am really excited about this year. So of course, like I said, we are going to do more deep dives, more nerdy information-based content because you guys told me you love it. I love making it. And I think that um, that's just the direction that I want to bring this channel. And, you know, of course, we're still going to have the fun and light videos, the repots, the unboxings, your standard plant content. But I want to kick it up a notch this year and make sure that you are coming away from my videos knowing some stuff you might not have known before you clicked the video. And then there's the thing I am admittedly the most excited about, and that is the garden this year. I am so excited to start some seeds. I have started my winter sowing already. I have the shelving set up over here. I'll give you a little spin over there. Now we got some, some things ready to go. And then the light behind me right now is hosting a bunch of house plants that like to have a higher amount of light. Actually, the light turned down for the video, but um, they're doing real well back there. But once the sun starts strengthening up here in the Northern Hemisphere, I'm going to move those houseplants back to the windows and we will commence the garden growing. And of course, I'm slowly working on upgrading my gear. You might have noticed I have a new camera. I got a computer so that I'm able to actually edit video. Um, I used to have to do it on my phone. It was really tedious and awful. So this actually makes it um, a lot more likely that you will have more videos from me. It's really easy to enjoy editing when you don't have to wait four seconds, four grueling seconds between every mouse click, only to have your hours of work just disappear. I should have new merch coming very soon for you guys, and I think that you're really gonna like the shirt ideas that I have going. I'm pretty sure that my daughter is gonna be drawing them for me, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. And beyond the YouTube channel, I will be uh, spreading out onto other platforms. I'm gonna be doing more on Instagram Live, and I've also started a Patreon. We'll talk about that later though. So this brings me to the end of this very fun annual tag. And uh, the last question is who am I tagging? So I'm hoping that with this tag, I can materialize new content from this creator. I'm gonna tag Thick Potter because I know that he'd like to come back to YouTube and just needs a little poke. So here's your poke. I'm gonna tag Maria from Bloom and Grow Radio. If you don't already know, she doesn't just have a podcast, but she also has a channel here on YouTube. We actually did a big collab with a bunch of other YouTubers a little while back. So if you didn't see that, check it out. And I'm gonna tag Pamela P, Miss Houseplant, because I am very curious what her plant plans for the upcoming year are. And of course, if you're watching this and you have a channel, please do this tag. Let me know if you do down in the comments and I will check your video out. Thanks so much to Scott for putting this tag together. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Big deal, big deal. And thank you as always to all of you for watching my channel and helping this whole thing we're doing here grow. I'm having a really great time and I hope that you are too. So I will see you guys in the next one. Happy New Year. Things are still weird, but it's all right. We're gonna get through it. Okay, bye. Buddy. Buddy. 
Do you need a cat shelf there? Hey, 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 no, no. God, you're gonna break that. What is sticky on you? So Scott from Scott Grows an Avocado. Ugh, Duncan. Hey, stop, no. And then the one that's coming up. <clears throat> Good.